At the time, Navajo was an unwritten language, which means there was no alphabetical representation of its sounds. That made it almost impossible to transliterate. It could only be interpreted by native speakers. There were two types of codes, type 2 codes and type 1 codes. Type 2 codes were direct translations. Type 1 codes worked with substitution. Coders assigned a Navajo word for each letter of the alphabet and spelled out entire messages to each other. So for example, spelling out the word code would work like this. They replaced the letter C with mosi, the Navajo word for cat. The letter O was replaced with nesja, the Navajo word for owl. The D would be tle chae, or dog in Navajo. And E would be zhe, or elk in Navajo. Mosi nesja tle chae zhe, code. They also created special code words for certain implements of war. For example, the code word for a patrol plane was gagi, or crow in Navajo. A minesweeper was called cha'a, the Navajo word for beaver. If that message was sent in English code, it would have taken 30 minutes, 20 seconds in Navajo, 30 minutes in English code. Those guys pinned down on North Side didn't have 30 minutes. Without Navajo, Marines would never have taken the island of Iwo Jima. That's how critical Navajo code was to the war in the Pacific. And we should never forget what war is. War is something that nobody wants.